Hey, this is Mrs. Clark, and today I'm going to show you how to make this awesome fireworks pixel art. It's designed so that people answer your own questions, and if they answer it correctly, pixels pop up a little bit at a time, creating an image. Now, you can get this exact template and code along with me if you click on the link in the description, but you can also use this video to help you code your own picture. You just want to make sure that you have a picture that you made first, ready to go, and then I'll show you how to code it. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I always do is come up to the percentage and I click on the arrow and set it to 75 so that I can see everything at once. Now with this pixel art, you're going to write your own questions and people will answer them and we'll be coding the answer boxes. So you're going to go ahead and click on the box and just start typing and you're going to write questions and then answer those questions. You can go ahead and pause the video, write your questions and your answers. Once you have your questions and answers written, we're gonna talk about the actual coding. When we're coding, we are only going to code the answer boxes. We're going to tell the computer what box we're talking about. And we do that by giving the computer the column of the box and the row of the box. So this box is B4. And I know that this is a big box, so the row is four, five, six, and seven. But for the code, we're going to tell it it's column B, row four. So the first thing we tell the computer is B4, that's this box. And then I'm going to tell the computer what needs to be in that box for the code to activate. In my case, that's 12. And you're going to tell the computer whatever your answer is and then we'll tell it what color we want this box to turn. So just for a few more examples, this box here is called B8. So we would tell the computer, I want B8 to be 25. B12 needs to have Broncos and B16 needs to have Mercury. That's all we're doing with the code is we're telling the computer the name of the box and what needs to be in it. Now let's look at what the code actually looks like. It's all the things I just said, but with a couple of symbols. It's written down here and you can write it down so you have it as a reference. It is equals dollar sign column, dollar sign row equals answer. For example, for this box here, I'm going to write equals dollar sign B, dollar sign four equals 12. Now I'll show you where we're going to write that code. We are going to open up Format, conditional formatting. And this window will be what we use the whole time. If you lose this window, you can get in the same way we just did. I like to start at the bottom and I tell a computer what color I wanna do. And I'm going to pick colors from the fireworks. There are three purples to work with. So let's say, let's do some of the light purple. Let me just look at that real quick and see there it is. Okay, great. Let me click back on the box I'm actually coding. That's important. When we click on these pixels just to look at them, we have to actually go back and click on the box we want to code to. So this is the box I'm coding. I'm going to come down to that paint bucket and select the color. So that's why I was just looking at it so I could see which one it was. But for the fireworks, all three are up here, so that should be pretty easy. The lightest purple. Now we're going to write the code. To do that, we come here. Click and go to the very last one. It says custom formula is. Click on that. This is where we're going to write the code, telling the computer the column and the row of this box and telling the computer that the answer is 12. So equals dollar sign B, that's the column, dollar sign four, that's the row equals 12, that's the answer. And you'll put whatever your answer to your question is. If it's a number, just put it like I did. If it's a word, you have to put quotes around it, and I'll show you that in a sec. All right, so technically, I wrote my code. I, so, I said to the computer, if there's a 12 in that box, turn it light purple, and if there's not a 12 in that box, don't. So the code works, but Obviously, that has nothing to do with the fireworks. I need to actually attach some of these light purples from the fireworks so that they also turn purple along with this box. To do that, I come up to the top here where it says apply to range and click on these little squares. It looks like a window. Slide this over. I wanna keep this box selected. So in order to keep that, you're gonna hold down the control button 
or if you're on a Mac, hold down Command. Then I'm going to start clicking on other pixels I want to add. And you can see on the left there that as I click, they're being added to the range. That means I coded that other box, but I'm adding these pixels along with the code. So it will turn these ones purple too. I'm not doing all the light purple because there's a lot of questions to get through and there's only three colors. So I'm just going to do a little bit of it and save some for later. I'm going to take my finger off of control and now I need to do three steps. Step one is to hit OK on the range. Step two is to hit done on the code. Step three is very important and it's easy to forget. I'm going to come up to the paint bucket and then click reset. If you don't do that, then the pixels will be purple forever regardless of the code. So everything's selected right now, so I want to click off of it, and now I can test it. Click on this 12 box and hit delete or backspace, and notice that the pixels disappear. Come back, put the answer back in, click off of it, and the pixels come back. I don't want to leave them up there for now though, because then I won't know which ones I've done. So we're going to delete the 12. Notice that the code is still here, and you can open it if you need to do anything to it. Um, it's still there, I just took away the number 12. Let's go down to our next one. Let's do our some of the dark purples. Notice that that code went away because it's only for this box. I've coded that box, and now I'm going to do this box. So I'll click Add Another Rule. I start at the bottom with the color, and I decided I wanted to use some of the dark purple. There we go. Now I'm going to write my code. Click here and go all the way down to custom formula is, and then we'll write that code telling the computer the column and row of this box and telling the computer that it needs to equal 25 in order for the code to work. Equals dollar sign B dollar sign eight equals 25. There's the code, it works. And now I just need to add some of the pixels from the fireworks. Hold down control so you don't lose that 25 box. We want that to stay in the code. And that's why we hold down control. It lets us select pixels without it replacing the ones from before. I'm not doing all of them because like I said, we have nine questions to get through and there are only three colors. So if I did all the purple, um, I would kind of run out and I don't want that. So just getting a bunch of them in there. And if you click on one you didn't mean to, just click on it again. But it's not that big of a deal if you accidentally click on like a light purple and it was supposed to be dark purple because it all creates the same effect. It's still gonna look like fireworks. Okay, so I have some of them there. I'm gonna take my finger off control and do my three steps. Hit okay on the range, done on the code, and reset on the paint bucket. Now click off of it because everything's selected. Click back on just that box and we'll test it. Get rid of the 25. Code is still there, but it took away the pixels. And now let's answer both of them. And there we go. Okay, delete the answer so it doesn't confuse us. Let's do some of that medium purple now. And this time we're gonna be using a word for our answer. So I'll show you how that's a little bit different. Click add another rule. Starting at the bottom, we're going to pick our color. So I said I wanted to do some of the medium purple. Now I'll write my code. Custom formula is telling the computer the column and row. So this one is B12, and it's 12 because of this right here, 12, equals Broncos. Now notice that the code doesn't work, it turned white. If your answer is a word, you just have to put quotes at the beginning, like that, quotes at the end, just like dialogue when someone's speaking in a book. Now it works and I'm going to click on the range and hold down control and I'm just going to add in some of these other medium purples. There we go. I'll leave some for later. I'm going to do my three steps. Hit OK done and reset the paint bucket. So now I've done one of each color and I'm just going to keep going like that. So I could do like light purple, dark purple, medium purple, 
light purple, dark purple, medium purple. And then when I do these last three, I'm going to use up all the color. Um, it doesn't really matter. You just want to keep your eye on it and make sure that you use up all the colors at the right time. So yeah, maybe I'll do a little bit more light purple, but I'm not going to do all of it. I'll save some of it for the end. Um, so I'm clicking on the box that I want to code, which is my mercury box. And I am going to click add another rule, coming down and picking my color. Then I write my code, telling the computer the column and row of that box. Dollar sign B, dollar sign 16 equals quotation marks, mercury. Capitalization does not matter for the code. Now I come up and I'm just going to add some of my light purples, about half of them because I want to save some for the end. All right, now I'll do my three steps. Okay, done and reset. All right, so like I was saying, I might do like a little bit more of the dark purple and a little bit more of the medium purple, and then I'll have three questions left and three colors. So then it doesn't matter what order I do, but like if I was doing the light purple for this question, I do all of it, and then all of the dark purple, and then all of the medium purple, so that by the time I do this one, all of the pixels should be gone. I'm gonna speed up the video now and keep coding and then we'll check in at the end and see how it looks. All right, when you're finished, here's what it should look like. And if you left any pixels behind or there's anything else that went wrong, that's totally fine. You can click on this video here and it'll help you with some of the common mistakes that we make when we're starting with pixel art. That's very normal, but we just got to stick with it. So you can see in the uh, formatting window here on the right that there is a code attached to each box as I cycle through here. I'm gonna go ahead and close this window and let's go ahead and put in our pixels and see how it looks. And there's our fireworks. So again, make sure to check out this video here. Um, it's in my YouTube as well if you need to check it out that way. It's under the pixel art playlist and Remember, you can get the fireworks if you click on the link in the description, but I hope this video helps you too if you're trying to code your own pixel art. And let me know in the comments if you have any specific questions and we'll see if there's anything that I can help you out with.